doing here around the market today? Hurry up, you lot! Come on, or we'll miss all the fun. Wait for me! My shoe's undone and I'm about to lose it. Oh, not again! You'll have to go back to using Velcro straps. Quick, come on, we'll run and catch up with them. Merry Christmas to you all. Any spare change for us singers? I'm not giving you a cent. We haven't heard you sing yet. We've only just got here, you know. Well, we've been here all day. Bobbles, bobbles, bobbles and tinsel, bobbles, tinsel and stars. Don't forget our world famous sparkling stars. And get your fairy lights here too. Guaranteed to work first time. By the looks of them, that would be a miracle. Never mind miracles. How about one of my nice juicy turkeys? Look at this fellow, smashing big legs, just like my missus. Hurry up, don't miss out, the clock is ticking. Don't forget your Christmas puddings, me darlings. Luxury puddings bursting with fruit. You won't find better. No, not for you. How about a box of succulent mince pies then? Guaranteed you'll be back for more. Puddings, Christmas mince lights, pies, Christmas decorations, and everything you want. Here's a cow for everyone to join in with. A real old favourite. Ready? After four. One, two, three, four. Ding dong, merrily am I. dolls are as old as this one. Where did you get all these toys from? Oh I get about all over the place with my job. You'd be surprised if you knew. These toys came from the attic of an old 19th century house. They've been long forgotten about so I brought them down and gave them a bit of my THT. That's tender heavenly touch. It always works magic. Tender heavenly touch? I've never heard of that before. Do you really think anyone will buy them? I do hope so. I'd really like for them to have a new home. Let's test the market and see. We'll all help you.
They just don't know what they're missing. Are you sure I can't tempt one of you to take it? I think it's more for little kids, I'm afraid. We're a bit too old for it. No one is too old for a jigsaw. We don't have anyone to give it to. We're the youngest in our families. Then give it to yourselves. No offence, but look at it. It's just about worn out. Are you surprised? It's been doing its job for hundreds of years. Hey, wait a minute. You said it from the 19th century. If you take it, you'll soon find out it's timeless and ageless. Believe me. Well, if we did buy it, how much is it going to cost us? There's no price tag anywhere. Would you believe it's priceless? What, what do, do you mean? mean? It means there is no price. It's more valuable than money. I was looking for the right child to give it to, and as luck would have it, I found five of you with enough charm and curiosity to deserve it. What? You want to give it to us for nothing? That can't be right. Are you sure? You won't make much money giving away toys like that. I'm absolutely positive. Well, thanks. It's very nice of you. But I don't know if we should accept. There must be some kind of catch. Of course you should. Go on, take it, really. There is absolutely no catch. Just promise me one thing. Promise me that on Christmas Eve you will take a little time out from all the hustle and bustle to put the pieces together very carefully. I think we can promise that. Thank you so much. That is really kind of you. And have yourself a very Merry Christmas. Have a very special Christmas yourselves. I have a good feeling our paths will cross again soon. I can't believe it's Christmas Eve already. The time has flown. It's so exciting. Lovely, that's my mum's necklace all wrapped up. Looks good, doesn't it? There's not much left in here to wrap now. In fact, there's only this. Oh no, not the old jigsaw puzzle. What are we going to do with it? Well, if you remember, we promised the toy star that we find some time to do it on Christmas Eve. Well, we haven't got the time to now. There's still loads to do before tomorrow. I have to sort my Christmas outfit yet too. Besides, there's loads of shows that we're missing out on on Netflix. I've got a lot to catch up on. I have to re-watch the Late Late Toy Show yet. I don't think it will take that long anyway. There aren't that many pieces by the sound of it. I know, you girls do the puzzle, and when it's all done, we'll come and admire it. How's that for a great idea? I bet you find a missing piece. It's always the same with old Jigsaw. Pieces don't just go walk about. Guys, look. Look at the angel on the lid. She's got a very familiar face. I can't quite put my finger on this. What do you mean familiar? You mean she is someone famous? Was she off the TV or from a Netflix show? Or was she in I'm a Celeb this year? Don't be silly, Tom. TV wasn't even invented when this jigsaw was made. But she does look very familiar. She's right, you know. The face really does look familiar. I've got it, I've got it. The angel on the box is the same face as the toy seller. You know, the one that gave us the jigsaw. Now that's a bit spooky. Not spooky at all, Tom. Just a heavenly touch of Christmas magic. So, um... Uh, are you really an angel? I sure am, Meg. This is me in all my glory. I don't wear this outfit out for markets and places like that, but today is special, so I've come all dressed up. Wow, you look lovely. I usually have a big speech ready, like, be not afraid, I bring you glad tidings of great joy, but not today. Today, I've come to show you all the true meaning of that very first Christmas. So let's begin. Eve, you take out the first piece and we'll all have a look at it. It's quite a big piece. It shows Roman soldiers talking to a crowd of people. The Roman reading from the scroll looks important. He must be the chief Roman. Now this is where our story starts. In Nazareth, where Mary and Joseph lived. Joseph was the town carpenter, but originally he came from Bethlehem. The emperor Caesar Augustus called for a census and everyone had to go back to the place of their birth to be counted. It was quite an event, as you will soon see.
sound. You heard what he said. Move. You all know that if it's an important announcement, that it must be from our Emperor Caesar Augustus. Long live the Emperor! Do you mind? Wear your manners. Now come on, when have you ever seen a Roman soldier with manners? It's always orders this, orders that, orders, orders, orders. I'm so fed up with these Romans and their orders. I really wish they would all just go back to Rome where they belong. Yes, and leave us all in peace. They are always complaining and giving out. I wonder what they are going to be harping on about now. Silence! All of you! I could have you arrested! They are punishment for rebels like you! Oh, I do love a good punishment. Who do you want me to round up, Captain? Rebels always put up a good fight. I love when I get to use my power. As much as we enjoy it, you all know who loves punishing rebels? Our Emperor Caesar Augustus. Long live the Emperor! Must they say that every time? I know, it's so annoying. This is a decree from Emperor Caesar Augustus. Long live the Emperor! There is to be a census. Every man must return to the town or city of his birth to be counted. The plan is to take immediate effect. Your journey starts today. Roman officials will be awaiting your arrival. The count will take place in five days' time. You better be there. Why do you need to count us? What's all the fuss about? Taxes, of course. You know they just want to take all our profits. It's not going to be worth our time working at this rate. Not to mention the cost of this journey. Well, nothing we can do now. A decree is a decree. That's life. Joseph came from Bethlehem. But what about all the wild animals that will be roaming about when we camp at night? We'll light some fires to scare them off. And you know what? If that doesn't work, I'm pretty sure that your snoring will scare everything away. It's the robbers that worry me the most. Don't worry, his snoring will scare them off. He sounds like an angry bear. No point worrying now. now. We've, We've got, got to get on our way. way. This piece shows Mary and Joseph arriving in Bethlehem. It's very dark, but I, the stars are shining in the night sky. I can see an innkeeper and his family. The rest of the town is deserted. It must be very late at night. Oh yes, what a time that was. We angels had our work cut out keeping them safe. I can tell you. It was a long journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, especially for Mary with her baby ready to be born. We had to protect them from wild animals robbers, and even some severe snoring. Then we had to lead them to good places for rest. Of course, there was that little problem with accommodation at the end. Joseph and Mary were very slow travellers, and their journey took much longer than others. 
Poor Mary could not keep up with everyone, and Joseph was taking great care of her along the way, tending to her needs. Soon the other travellers were nowhere to be seen and had vanished out of sight. It was a long, lonely and dangerous road to travel for Joseph, Mary and their precious cargo. But we were there keeping them safe the whole time. Follow the star, follow the star, see it shining all so bright. Follow the star, follow the star, see it lighting up the night. Never be afraid, it will show you the way. Follow the star, follow the Oh Mary, I wish we didn't have to go to Bethlehem at this time of year, the year, especially now that you're expecting a baby. I'm so worried about you. I hope you don't catch a cold. I'm fine, Joseph. Don't worry. Wait till you see. Everything will work out fine. God will look after us. With the amount of people travelling to Bethlehem tonight, we'll be very lucky to get a room to rest in. Don't worry, Joseph. We will get somewhere soon. Just a little further, Mary. I'll try to sit over here. Wakey, wakey! You've got important visitors. No more visitors allowed. We've settled in in the final crowd. But... Shh! It's, it's midnight. midnight! The inn is full and the life is true. We have no room for the likes of you. But... Shh! It's, it's midnight. midnight! There is no room at the inn tonight. We need our sleep and so good night. But shh, it's midnight. But what about that big stable you have at the back? There's loads of room out there with the animals. Come on, kids, tell your father. Come on, mom and dad. We've got a plan. Accommodate these tired people. I'm sure we can. We can give the stable a quick sweep. I'm sure it'd be a perfect spot for these tired tra travelers to sleep. But wait, I have a great idea. We have the stables very near. It's warm and dry. The lamp is bright if your baby should be born tonight. Thank you all so much. You have saved us. You see, Joseph, everything's working out fine. God is looking after us. That night, in the little stable in the big city of Bethlehem, the baby Jesus was born. Angels flew over Bethlehem to spread the good news to all. next piece of the jigsaw. Who is going to choose this time? Me please. I've chosen the shepherds out on the hill. Just look at all the angels in the sky. Oh that was such a glorious night. Nothing but good news to sing about. We have practiced for years and years and now at last we could get out there and sing our hearts out. On the hills around Bethlehem, there were sheep grazing. The shepherds who looked after them were asleep, taking it in turns to stay awake and mind the sheep. In what was a clear night over the city of Bethlehem, the sky was lit up with the millions of stars. However, there was one that shone brighter than all the rest. Come on, wake up, wake up. Doesn't the sky look amazing tonight? Come on, wake up or you'll miss it. What's up with you now? This is my time to rest, you know. I need my beauty sleep. Looking this good isn't an easy task. Now what's amazing? What's amazing? Are you serious? The sky, it's so full of stars. Oh, it really is. There's so many stars. I've never seen them so bright before. What's up with you two? Will you just pipe down? I was fast asleep, and which one of you turned on the lights? It's so bright for this time of night. It's the same story every night. Woken up by your constant chatter. I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you scared of now? A wolf? A fox? Or maybe even your own shadow? It's probably just her shadow. Remember the last time she thought a bush was moving and it's just her shadow dancing in the firelight? I've never heard her scream like that before. It's none of those things, thank you very much. It's something amazing. The sky is full of millions of stars. And can you see that great big star over Bethlehem? 
I haven't seen a star that big or that bright. Has it even been here before? This is really strange. It's brighter than a moon on a clear night. It has to mean something. But what could millions of stars lighting up the sky possibly mean? Hey, what's that? The sky, look at it, it's moving. Wait, this, the sky, it really is moving. What's happening? The stars are turning to angels. The stars are angels. Suddenly, the sky over the shepherds was full of angels flying in from all directions. Glorious angel light filled the sky as we sang with joy. That was absolutely um, amazing, astounding, astonishing, awesome, absolutely. Now you know of the glorious news that Jesus has been born today. He is the Savior of the world. You will find him lying in a stable in a manger in Bethlehem. Just follow the star and it will take you there. And don't worry about your sheep because God will take care of them. What are we waiting for, you lot? Come on, let's go. Race you. I'm way ahead of you. Bye. We heard the angels singing and we wondered what to do. Run with haste to Bethlehem. We told the other shepherds of their joyful Christmas news. Look terrified. That's King Herod, the king of Judea. Now he really gave us angels trouble with a capital T. It's hard being a guardian angel with someone like him to deal with. So which is it to be? My three good kings or his scary one? We can do both. The two stories are intertwined anyway. You'll see. Look, tree travellers coming down this road. They look pretty important to me. Harold will like them. Hot! Who goes there? Stop! Go no further! This is private land! Our masters wish to know if this is the palace of King Herod of Judea. It most certainly is. Look, 
Who else could have a palace like this? Our masters wish to present these gifts to a new king. We have followed his nascent star from the east and has, has led us here. We've all been watching that new star. It definitely won't hurl the new king. Herod is the only king here. Our master wishes to speak with King Herod. He surely must be able to help them with their quest. Speak to Herod? Are you serious? You clearly haven't heard about our king. Let's tell them all about him. Sire, three travellers are outside. They wish to speak with you. Send them away! No one demands to speak with me! They want your advice, sir. They say that star hurls a new king. New king? New king? I am the king! The only king in Judea! Find me this new king and I'll exterminate him before it grows up. This new king's days are numbered. Go take it, sire. But we need to find this king first. These three travellers might just lead us to him, your grace. Yes. Excellent. A cunning plan. Be careful, sir. They must not guess your cunning plan. I will be as sweet as honey. There will be the flies around my honey pot. Then I will strike! No one can outwit you, sire. I know. Fetch me these wise travellers and I will give them an audience. Wicked King Herod pretended to be so interested in the newborn king that the three kings were taken in by his kindness and concern. They agreed to follow the star which was now moving towards Bethlehem. They promised to find the new king and report their findings to Herod on their way home. Herod smiled and assured them that when he knew where to find the child, he too would go quickly and pay homage to make him feel welcome. We knew his real plan was to kill the child, but we too had a cunning plan. We warned the kings in a dream to go back a different way, avoiding Jerusalem. Our heavenly touch would outwit the evil king of Judea. Jesus would be safe from harm. The prophecies tell of a new king, we even, but we have been searching for many days. Um, my calculations show, show we are close, but which way do we go? I am not sure, Casper. I've studied my tracks closely, but still the path is not clear to me. What do you think, Melchior? I think we have to map the wrong way up. We should have turned left at Jericho. 
It is the brightest star I've ever seen, but what does it mean? It is so beautiful. Surely this is the sign we have been waiting for. What do you think, Balthasar? We must follow it and see where it leads. The prophecies were right. Our quest is over. We have surely found the Son of God. It's not fit for a king though. It's just a humble stable. A king with such a humble birth will truly be the king of all men. I win gold for, for the child who will be the greatest king ever known. I bring frankincense for the king of heaven and earth. I bring Mir for the king who will give his life to save his people. There's only one tiny piece left. The smallest, the best and the most important piece in the whole story. The baby Jesus! He's been tucked up in that cosy manger ever since he arrived. There's just the right shape space for us. Yes, here in Mary's arms. Come on, let's complete our picture. In the busy jigsaw of our lives, let us never forget the true meaning of Christmas.